I think what culinary school was able to give me was a skill set um, in understanding why you do certain things when it comes to cooking. So learning under my dad, you learn techniques, right? You watch him do something and you replicate that and you go, oh, that's how you saute something. That's how you steam something. Going to culinary school explains the science behind it. It tells you why you steam at this temperature. Why do you poach eggs like this? Why do you put vinegar in it to help you coagulate the eggs? In understanding why you do these things, it helps me become a better chef so I'm not simply replicating things that I see. I can look at a dish that I've never seen anybody make and be able to replicate it by thinking about, okay, how would I approach making this dish? So I need to treat it this way and then cook it at this temperature to make it. So it helps me just have a better understanding of how to create things without needing to even look up a recipe or learn it from somebody. I'd probably say someone who's like up there for me would be Alice Waters. Um, I feel like there's a lot of male chefs that are super famous and you know they get a lot of um, recognition and for female chefs there are a lot but when you think of like in the Bay Area, Alice Water like pops up. She's kind of like the mother of California cuisine. She's been at it for over 50 years and I really like the fact that she's kind of stuck to her roots. She started out in Berkeley um, and she's kind of like never left, you know, like she has this great restaurant Chez Panisse there. It's like a house, it's like her home and she's always kept it that way. She didn't take California cuisine and go open like 50 chains or anything like that. She's truly like about her food and her craft and you know, she does all this stuff like having your own little like garden and farm and stuff like that and locally sourcing that and creating your dishes based off of that. So I really like that she's kind of st stuck to that and it's still there and yeah, it's kind of neat and cool for me. I would just say that I'm like pretty stoked about the fact that San Francisco has become such like a, a tech hub. You know, growing up here when I was younger, that wasn't anything that I, I foresaw. And I think just in the last maybe like 10, 12 years, all that kind of started blossoming. It makes me really proud to be part of it and just to see like how strong San Francisco is as a city or the Bay Area. You have so many interesting people coming here, international people wanting to create that American dream, which is like what my parents came here for. And now it's all these young people doing really um, fun things that are affecting people from all over the world like the tech is able to do that you know they can create something that people in China or in Italy can use and you know it's kind of life-changing for all of us and it's neat that it's happening here where we're living